A mysterious miles-long structure has been detected moving above our planet, close to the moon. This discovery has sparked intense debate among scientists who are grappling to explain its origin and nature. As we delve into the details of this enigmatic object, we will explore the theories surrounding its existence, the challenges of studying it, and the potential implications for our understanding of the universe. Join us on this captivating journey to unravel the secrets of this cosmic anomaly. In a stunning revelation, scientists have recently detected a colossal structure, spanning miles in length, moving in close proximity to our moon. This discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community as researchers scramble to unravel the mysteries surrounding this enigmatic object. The structure was first observed by a team of astronomers using advanced telescopes and imaging technology. Initially, they were perplexed by the unusual readings and data they were receiving, which suggested the presence of a large moving mass near the lunar surface. As they focused their instruments on the area in question, they were stunned to find a clearly defined structure unlike anything they had ever encountered before. News of the discovery quickly spread, and the scientific community was abuzz with speculation and theories about the nature and origin of this mysterious object. Some suggested that it could be an ancient alien spacecraft, while others proposed that it might be a previously unknown type of celestial body, or a strange astronomical phenomenon. To gather more information about the structure, scientists employed a range of cutting-edge tools and techniques. They used high-resolution cameras to capture detailed images of the object, revealing its intricate shape and features. Spectroscopic analysis was conducted to determine its composition, which indicated the presence of unusual materials and elements not typically found in natural celestial bodies. One of the most intriguing aspects of the structure is its apparent motion. Unlike most objects in space, which follow predictable orbits and trajectories, this miles-long entity seems to be moving independently, almost as if it were under intelligent control. This has led some researchers to speculate that it could be an artificial construct, perhaps created by an advanced alien civilization. However, not all scientists are convinced by the extraterrestrial hypothesis. Some argue that the structure's movement could be the result of complex gravitational interactions or other natural forces that we have yet to fully understand. They point out that our knowledge of the universe is still limited and that there may be many phenomena that we have yet to encounter or explain. Despite the ongoing debate, one thing is clear. The discovery of this miles-long structure near the moon is a groundbreaking development that has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. It challenges our preconceived notions about what is possible in space and raises profound questions about our place in the universe. As research into the structure continues, scientists are working tirelessly to gather more data and develop new theories to explain its existence. They are collaborating with colleagues from around the world, pooling their expertise and resources to unravel the secrets of this cosmic enigma. The discovery has also captured the imagination of the public, with people from all walks of life eagerly following the latest developments and speculating about the implications of this find. Some see it as evidence that we are not alone in the universe, while others view it as a reminder of the vast and mysterious nature of the cosmos. Details on the size, composition, and location of the structure. As scientists continue to study the mysterious miles-long structure detected near the moon, they have been able to gather more detailed information about its physical characteristics and location. These findings have only deepened the intrigue surrounding this cosmic anomaly, raising new questions and challenges for researchers. One of the most striking aspects of the structure is its immense size. Based on initial observations and calculations, scientists estimate that it spans several miles in length, making it one of the largest objects ever discovered in close proximity to Earth. To put this into perspective, if the structure were placed on our planet's surface, it would be visible from space and would dwarf even the most colossal man-made structures. Despite its enormous size, the structure appears to be relatively thin and elongated, with a width that is only a fraction of its length. This unusual shape has led some researchers to speculate that it could be a type of cosmic string or filament, similar to the theoretical structures thought to have formed in the early universe. However, the true nature of the object remains a mystery, and more data is needed to confirm or refute this hypothesis. 
Another puzzling aspect of the structure is its composition. Spectroscopic analysis has revealed the presence of unusual materials and elements that are not typically found in natural celestial bodies. These include exotic forms of matter that have never been observed before, as well as combinations of elements that defy our current understanding of chemistry and physics. Some scientists have suggested that the structure's composition could be evidence of advanced technology, perhaps created by an alien civilization with knowledge and capabilities far beyond our own. They point to the presence of highly ordered and complex patterns within the structure, which seem to indicate a level of engineering and design that surpasses anything we have achieved on Earth. However, other researchers caution against jumping to conclusions about the structure's origins. They argue that we should not assume that everything we don't understand must be the product of intelligent design, and that there may be natural processes at work that we have yet to discover. They point out that the universe is full of strange and unexpected phenomena, and that we should remain open to the possibility of new and surprising explanations. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the structure is its location and movement. It was first detected in close proximity to the moon, orbiting at a distance of only a few thousand kilometers above the lunar surface. This is an incredibly close approach for an object of this size, and it raises questions about how it could have arrived at this position without colliding with the moon or being pulled apart by its gravitational forces. Even more puzzling is the fact that the structure appears to be moving independently without following any predictable orbit or trajectory. It seems to be able to change course and speed at will, almost as if it were under intelligent control. This has led some researchers to speculate that it could be a type of spacecraft or probe sent by an alien civilization to study our solar system. However, other scientists point out that there could be natural explanations for the structure's unusual motion. They suggest that it could be the result of complex gravitational interactions with the moon and other nearby objects, or that it could be propelled by some kind of exotic propulsion system that we have yet to understand. Despite the many questions and uncertainties surrounding the structure, one thing is clear. Its discovery has opened up a new frontier in our exploration and understanding of the universe. It challenges our assumptions about what is possible and what is out there, and it reminds us that there is still so much we have yet to learn about the cosmos. Theories and Hypotheses About the Origin and Nature of the Structure as the scientific community continues to study the mysterious miles-long structure near the moon, a number of theories and hypotheses have emerged to explain its origin and nature. These ideas range from the plausible to the fantastical, and they reflect the diverse perspectives and imaginations of researchers from around the world. One of the most prominent theories is that the structure could be a type of cosmic string or filament. These are theoretical objects that are thought to have formed in the early universe, when the cosmos was still a seething cauldron of energy and matter. According to this idea, the structure could be a remnant of this primordial era, a kind of fossil that has survived for billions of years and is now passing through our solar system. Proponents of this theory point to the structure's unusual shape and composition as evidence of its cosmic string origins. They argue that the thin, elongated form of the object is consistent with the predictions of string theory and that the exotic materials and elements detected within it could be the result of the extreme conditions that existed in the early universe. However, other researchers are skeptical of the cosmic string hypothesis. They point out that cosmic strings are still purely theoretical, and that there is no direct evidence of their existence. They also argue that the structure's apparent motion and behavior are difficult to explain using this model, and that it would require a great deal of coincidence for a cosmic string to pass so close to Earth at just the right moment for us to detect it. Another theory that has gained traction is the idea that the structure could be a type of alien spacecraft or probe. This hypothesis has captured the imagination of many people, both within the scientific community and among the general public. It suggests that the structure could be the product of an advanced alien civilization, perhaps sent to study our solar system or to make contact with humanity. Supporters of this theory point to the structure's unusual motion and apparent ability to change course and speed as evidence of intelligent control. They also argue that the complex patterns and designs detected within the object could be the result of advanced engineering and technology, far beyond anything we have achieved on Earth. However, the alien spacecraft hypothesis also has its detractors. 
They point out that there is no concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life, and that it would be a huge leap to assume that an alien civilization would send a miles-long spacecraft to our solar system. They also argue that the structure's behavior could be explained by natural phenomena, such as gravitational interactions or exotic propulsion systems. A third theory that has emerged is the idea that the structure could be a type of dark matter object. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that is thought to make up a large portion of the universe, but which does not interact with normal matter in any way that we can detect. Some researchers have suggested that the structure could be a rare example of a dark matter object that has somehow become visible to us. According to this theory, the structure's unusual composition and behavior could be the result of its dark matter nature. The exotic materials and elements detected within it could be a form of dark matter that we have never encountered before, and its apparent motion could be the result of its interaction with the dark matter halo that surrounds our galaxy. However, the dark matter theory also has its challenges. For one thing, dark matter is still largely hypothetical, and we have yet to directly detect any dark matter objects. Additionally, it is unclear how a dark matter object could become visible to us, or why it would be so large and elongated in shape. Scientific Disagreements and Debates Surrounding the Structure As the scientific community continues to study the mysterious miles-long structure near the moon, a number of disagreements and debates have arisen regarding its nature, origin, and implications. These disputes reflect the complexity and uncertainty surrounding the object, as well as the diverse perspectives and approaches of researchers from different fields. One of the main points of contention is the question of whether the structure is a natural phenomenon or an artificial construct. Some scientists argue that the object's unusual shape, composition, and behavior are best explained by natural processes, such as cosmic string formation or dark matter interactions. They point out that the universe is full of strange and unexpected phenomena, and that we should not jump to conclusions about the structure's origins without solid evidence. On the other hand, other researchers believe that the structure's complex patterns and apparent motion are more consistent with an artificial origin. They argue that the object's ability to change course and speed, as well as its unusual materials and elements, suggest a level of technology and engineering far beyond anything we have achieved on Earth. They also point out that the possibility of extraterrestrial life cannot be ruled out, and that we should remain open to the idea that the structure could be a product of an advanced alien civilization. Another major debate surrounding the structure is its potential impact on our understanding of the universe. Some scientists argue that the object's discovery represents a paradigm shift in our knowledge of the cosmos, and that it could lead to breakthroughs in fields ranging from physics to astrobiology. They point out that the structure's unusual properties and behavior could help us to refine our theories about the nature of matter, energy, and space-time, and that it could provide new insights into the possibilities of life beyond Earth. However, other researchers caution against overinterpreting the significance of the structure. They argue that, while the object is certainly intriguing and worthy of study, it is premature to draw sweeping conclusions about its implications for our understanding of the universe. They point out that we still know very little about the structure's true nature and origins, and that much more research is needed before we can make any definitive statements about its significance. There are also disagreements among scientists about the best way to study and analyze the structure. Some researchers favor a cautious, methodical approach, focusing on gathering as much data as possible and subjecting it to rigorous analysis and peer review. They argue that this is the only way to ensure the reliability and validity of any conclusions we might draw about the object, and that rushing to judgment could lead to mistakes and misinterpretations. Other scientists, however, believe that a more aggressive and proactive approach is warranted. They argue that the structure represents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to explore a truly extraordinary phenomenon, and that we should be willing to take risks and think outside the box in order to maximize our learning and discovery. They also point out that the object's apparent motion means that we may have a limited window of time to study it, and that we should act quickly to gather as much data as possible before it moves out of range. Importance of the Moon and Previous Lunar Discoveries The discovery of the miles-long structure near the Moon has sparked renewed interest in our celestial neighbor and its role in shaping our understanding of the universe. 
The moon has long been an object of fascination and study for scientists, and its exploration has led to numerous groundbreaking discoveries and insights over the years. One of the most significant aspects of the moon is its influence on Earth's environment and natural cycles. The moon's gravitational pull is responsible for the tides in our oceans, which have a profound impact on marine life and coastal ecosystems. The regular rise and fall of the tides also played a crucial role in the evolution of life on Earth, as it created unique habitats and challenges for early organisms. The moon's phases, which are caused by its orbit around Earth and the changing angle of sunlight, have also been used by humans for thousands of years to keep track of time and to guide agricultural and cultural practices. Many ancient civilizations, such as the Babylonians, Greeks, and Chinese, developed sophisticated lunar calendars based on the moon's 29.5-day cycle, which helped them to plan their lives and activities around the natural rhythms of the cosmos. In addition to its practical and cultural significance, the moon has also been a primary target for scientific exploration and discovery. The Apollo missions of the 1960s and 1970s, which landed humans on the lunar surface for the first time, were a major milestone in the history of space exploration and a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the human spirit. The Apollo astronauts brought back hundreds of pounds of lunar rocks and soil samples, which have provided invaluable insights into the moon's composition, history, and evolution. Analysis of these samples has revealed that the moon is a complex and dynamic world, with a rich geological and geochemical diversity that rivals that of Earth. For example, the discovery of anorthosite, a type of rock that forms from the slow cooling of molten magma, suggested that the moon once had a global magma ocean that solidified over time. The presence of water ice in permanently shadowed craters near the lunar poles, which was confirmed by NASA's El Cross mission in 2009, has also raised the possibility of using the moon as a resource for future human exploration and settlement. Other lunar missions, such as the Soviet Union's Luna program and NASA's Clementine and Lunar Prospector orbiters, have also made important contributions to our understanding of the moon. These missions have mapped the lunar surface in unprecedented detail, revealing a world of towering mountains, vast plains, and deep craters that testify to the violent history of our solar system. More recently, China's Chang'e missions have continued to push the boundaries of lunar exploration, with the Chang'e 4 mission achieving the first-ever soft landing on the far side of the moon in 2019. This historic achievement has opened up new opportunities for studying the moon's mysterious far side, which is permanently hidden from Earth's view and has a distinctly different composition and appearance than the near side. The discovery of the miles-long structure near the moon, however, represents a new frontier in lunar exploration and a major challenge to our understanding of the universe. The structure's unusual properties and behavior, as well as its close proximity to the moon, have raised a host of new questions and possibilities that scientists are only beginning to grapple with. China's Chang'e 4 mission and landing on the far side of the moon. In recent years, China has emerged as a major player in the field of lunar exploration with its ambitious Chang'e program making significant strides in our understanding of the moon. Perhaps the most notable achievement of this program to date has been the Chang'e 4 mission, which made history in 2019 by achieving the first ever soft landing on the far side of the moon. The far side of the moon, which is permanently turned away from Earth due to the moon's synchronous rotation, has long been a mystery to scientists. Because it is impossible to communicate directly with spacecraft on the far side, Exploring this region has presented unique challenges and required innovative solutions. The Chang'e 4 mission overcame these challenges by using a relay satellite called Kuekiao, which was placed in a stable orbit beyond the moon to facilitate communication between the lander, rover, and Earth. This allowed the mission to explore the far side's von Karman crater, a vast and ancient impact basin that has been of great interest to scientists. The Chang'e 4 lander and its rover, U-22, have made several groundbreaking discoveries since touching down on the lunar surface. One of the most significant findings has been the detection of mantle material on the surface, 
which suggests that the crater may have excavated deep into the moon's interior during its formation. This discovery has important implications for our understanding of the moon's composition and evolution, as it provides direct evidence of the moon's internal structure and the processes that have shaped it over billions of years. By studying the composition and distribution of this mantle material, scientists hope to gain new insights into the moon's formation and its relationship to Earth. Another major achievement of the Chang'e 4 mission has been the detection of water ice in the permanently shadowed regions of the von Karman crater. This discovery adds to the growing body of evidence that the moon may contain significant quantities of water ice, which could be a valuable resource for future human exploration and settlement. The presence of water ice on the moon has long been a topic of speculation and debate among scientists, and the Chang'e 4 mission has provided some of the most compelling evidence to date for its existence. By using its onboard spectrometers and cameras, the mission has been able to identify the distinctive signatures of water ice in the crater's shadowed regions, which are some of the coldest and darkest places in the solar system. In addition to these scientific discoveries, the Chang'e 4 mission has also served as a major technological achievement for China's space program. The success of the mission has demonstrated China's growing capabilities in space exploration and its ability to undertake a complex and challenging missions beyond Earth's orbit. The Chang'e 4 mission has also paved the way for future lunar exploration, both by China and other nations. The mission's success has inspired renewed interest in the moon and its potential as a destination for human exploration and scientific study, and has helped to establish China as a major player in this field.